Late summer and early autumn bring large numbers of waders to our shores and wetlands. Waders generally are a challenging group to get to grips with and it does help to tackle them in small related groups and to become really familiar with the most common species. Redshank is a common year-round species found mainly on shores and salt marsh outside the breeding season. Some 120,000 spend the winter here. Redshank is a medium-sized wader, much larger than Dunlin and the other sandpipers, but significantly smaller than Godwits or Curlew. And although usually found in ones or twos, it is often the most common medium-sized wader around. The eponymous orange-red legs, or shanks, are its most obvious feature, but these can be obscured by water or mud. The bill is also the same colour, but darker at the tip, and it is straight, stout and not too long. The body is also quite stout and not too long, leading to a very pleasingly proportioned bird, neat but not dumpy. In winter plumage, the back, head, neck and wings are a soft grey-brown, with diffuse colour on the chest and belly, and faint spotting. Juveniles are slightly browner, with more obvious streaking below, but still present is the soft, diffuse colouring. Although soft to look at, redshank are noisy birds, calling frequently, sometimes continuously. A musical, slightly drawn-out tune that is repeated, sometimes incessantly, if the bird is alarmed. They certainly live up to their nickname, Sentinel of the Marshes, reacting to all perceived threats, either real or imagined. The birds often fly short distances between choice feeding spots, at which point the distinctive black and white wings become obvious. Redshank have a very large white triangle or wedge on the hind part of the wings, contrasting with the black outer wings, giving a distinctive W shape, emphasised by the white V on the back and rump. About 40,000 pairs of redshank breed here on salt marshes, freshwater marshes, wet meadows and moorland, although the numbers are declining. The breeding plumage consists of some back feathers displaying black patterning and more obvious black streaking on the breast. Then birds habitually use fence posts as song posts. Greenshank are rare breeding birds, generally in the flow country of northern Scotland, with about a thousand pairs breeding. But they are regular passage birds. Some 5,000 pass through each autumn and winter. The body is slightly larger and lankier than redshank, with longer neck, much more attenuated rear end, and longer greenish legs, which usually appear just grey or dark from a distance. The colouring is a much colder pale grey and white, and birds can look surprisingly pale amongst other waders, but often with a noticeable dark bottom edge to the closed wing. The bill is much longer than on redshank, and it's all dark and noticeably upturned. The birds usually forage in ones or twos in shallow water, like redshank, but sometimes display a different feeding technique, a sudden burst of activity as an individual runs after small fish. In flight, the wings have no white on them, giving a totally different look, although still sharing the V-shaped white back and rump with a much paler tail. Greenshank often give themselves away, in flight or on the ground, by their characteristic three-part call, choo choo choo. Which can occasionally be heard overhead in unlikely places as the birds migrate over. The final species is the rarest, about 500 are recorded each year. But still, one or two are likely to be found on our coastal marshes during late summer and autumn with a few again in spring. Spotted redshank has a body size intermediate between redshank and greenshank, although it appears less strung out than a greenshank, but has much longer legs than either. In coloration, adults are a pale grey. Juveniles more like redshank, but both have a distinctive dark line through the eye and prominent white supercilium. The bill is long and needle thin, black with a red base on the lower mandible, and straight with an obvious downward drooping tip. As its long legs suggest, spotted redshanks prefer to forage in deeper water, where it frequently wades with the water right up to its belly, where its elegant feeding action can be observed. Spotted redshanks characteristically pitch forward 
with their tails high, chests low, with their bills pointing towards the water. In flight, the coloration is most like red shank, but lacking the white wedges on the wings, and with good views, the long legs can be seen projecting prominently beyond the tail. Call is less important to identify this species, although it occasionally gives a distinctive chew it. If you are lucky enough to encounter spotted red shank in spring, you may see one coming into their spectacular breeding plumage, a totally unique and unmistakable sooty black all over, even the legs go black, with pure white spotting on their rear half. The eye stripes are lost, but the red bill base remains stunning. But beware adults returning in late summer that can sport a confusing mix of both summer and winter plumage.